you're doing all right. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're keeping sane. Um, I bought a new camera. Uh, I bought a new camera because I know these videos have been quite low definition recently. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't get on with it at all. It's got a little flip up viewfinder thing on the back. And um, the problem is when I'm uh, when I'm trying to record a video, all I can find myself is looking at me in this little uh, this little screen at the top. It's really really distracting. And uh, so we're we're back with the uh, the low quality graininess for now. But like I said to you before, um, hopefully what I talk about that the, the reason behind these videos and the content of these videos is somewhat more important than the video quality. And thank God for that, eh, given this uh, grainy wonder that we have before us. Um, Today I want to talk about the reaction you get from people when you decide to quit gambling and how, you know, sometimes people seem quite apathetic, quite sort of nonchalant about it and how maybe from some people you don't get the reaction and the support that maybe you'd expect. Now, what I will say before I say anything else is that this should not discourage you and this should not detract from speaking to other people about your addiction. Communication and support from those closest to you is you know, possibly one of the most important things in a successful recovery. Certainly speaking to, you know, my wife, my family, my parents, uh, when I finally decided to, to quit and when I finally started putting things in place in order to help me quit, that was one of the things that actually drove me forward, that kept me going. Not only did I have people to speak to, not only did I have an outlet for my thoughts and um, my feelings during my recovery, I also had people looking out for me and in many ways looking over me and, you know, making sure that I didn't slip up. And I also then officially had people to disappoint. I've been disappointing people left, right and centre throughout my gambling addiction. Of course I had, you know, we let people down, we lie to people, we deceive people and we cancel plans at the last minute because we've done our crust and all the rest of it. You know, I've been letting people down left, right and centre. But once I'd opened up, once I'd explained my addiction and explained the situation I was in to those closest to me, suddenly I had people that would actually be let down, tangibly let down. Should I fail? Should I slip up? Should I lapse? Should I relapse? And that was very powerful in helping me to recover. But like I say, sometimes I spoke to people and they didn't care. So why why wouldn't people care when you tell them you're going to quit gambling? Well, the most obvious one, but possibly not the most important one, is because they don't understand the severity of your problem. You know, I spoke to people in the, the pub about my gambling. Um, and about me stopping gambling and they would have seen me play the fruit machines all the time and a lot of them just said well it's your money you know you do what you want they didn't understand the problem and of course they won't because they haven't lived it these people will see you maybe gambling a bit too much maybe they understand that you gamble a bit too much maybe they even know or think that you have a gambling problem however Unless they'd walked a mile in your shoes, unless they'd lived your day-to-day -day life and experienced the problems with gambling, the fallout, the damage you do both financially, to relationships, to friendships, you know, and to your life as a whole, and certainly in terms of the time taken to gamble, without understanding this and without having this personal experience or background or maybe experiencing someone close to them with a gambling problem, they might not understand the severity of it. They might just see it as you're losing a bit too much money in the fruit machines. And that's why maybe you don't get the support from these people. They don't understand. Maybe they don't see you as having a problem. They just see you as a gambler, as gambler Phil, as I spoke about in depth in my last video. But the main reason, and this is the main reason that people don't care when you say anything, when you, you know, announce any big life changes, and certainly something like quitting gambling, quitting smoking, quitting drinking, the main reason people don't care is they've probably heard it before. You've probably said before, whether it be as direct as, I'm going into gambling recovery, I'm quitting gambling, I need to stop gambling, I have a gambling addiction. It might be as straightforward as that, but you might have also hinted at it before. You might have said things like, oh, I really should stop playing these machines as much. Oh, I've lost far too much this last week, you know, and sort of done it in a more light-hearted fashion. But you have previously alluded to the fact that you have a problem and you've alluded to the fact you're going to do something about it and inevitably like most of us do we don't do anything about it and we go back and the cycle continues so in many ways this is actually falling on deaf ears it's falling on tired ears it's falling on people who have heard it all before i've had people come to me close people to me and the first time they say you know i'm going to quit gambling you go yes great 
awesome well done you yeah brilliant right let's what what can we do what can i do to help i'm here you know i've got my number call me anytime text me anytime let me know if you need to talk about anything and then the next day they're back in the book he's back in the pubs playing the front machines back online on the casinos and after many many times many many revolutions of this particular cycle you kind of get a bit wary don't you you get a bit weary of it you get a bit tired of it and you kind of foresee the pattern so when they do actually come to you and they're actually starting to take positive steps to really really get into recovery to really stop this time taking all the the measures that i've suggested in previous videos putting all the blocks in place by then it's a bit boy who cried wolf you know you you don't care as much you can't bring yourself to care as much because you you think you know how this pans out and that's the same with a lot of people around you and this is why and i've touched upon this before if you're going to make an active effort in real recovery if you are serious and deadly serious about quitting gambling then talk to people about your addiction talk to people about your problem be that people close to you be that professionals and i recommend you do both talk to people about you talk to people about the addiction and the problem don't talk to people about your grand plans of abstinence your grand plans of recovery don't go too far down the line don't say i'm never gambling again and i'm going to use the money i save for this that, and the other i'm going to also do this and i'm going to go to the gym and everything's going to be amazing don't do that talk about you talk about your addiction but if you tell people too much about all these great things that you're planning to do all these great changes you're going to make in your life it will fall on deaf ears there is a time there is a time to tell people about your successes this isn't to say that if you have successfully remained abstinent for you know three months three weeks three days even if you've been gambling every day that you shouldn't tell people about it you shouldn't receive some affirmation for your efforts but don't expect that affirmation don't expect that interest don't expect that support up front because people have probably grown a bit tired of it going on a, a tangent slightly this is something that social media is incredibly incredibly bad at it creates a tidal wave of false positives and these false positives are focused towards all the people who talk the talk but never ever walk the walk people who promise massive things people who promise big changes people who are constantly saying about all the great stuff they're going to do but never do it and what happens is they'll say something spectacular they're giving up drinking they're going to do this for charity they're starting this business they're doing xyz and they will have a tidal wave of people going oh you know well done hun you know great work brilliant you know well you know i knew you could do it you're still awesome completely ignoring the fact that these people have done nothing and there are you will see it if you have social media you'll see it and you'll see the usual suspects the usual culprits for this they're the same people and again i'm going off even further of a tangent they're the same people who want praise for something that they haven't done they want support because they haven't achieved something and i'm picking on a very specific sector here and please don't give me hate for this but you get it a lot with young parents particularly young mothers on facebook who will seek affirmation that what they're doing is good and what they're doing is correct and what they're doing is worthy and they will get support saying you're doing a great job you're a great mum when they're sat their kid in front of an ipad for seven hours a day and then feeding them frozen chicken nuggets don't seek don't expect and you know don't don't thrive upon a false false positive if you're going to quit gambling quit gambling for a bit before you tell people you're quitting gambling speak to the professionals speak to those close to you about your problem but don't tell people don't make this big announcement that you're doing something constructive or you're eliminating something negative from your life or toxic for a word that everyone seems to want to bloody use these days don't seek praise for that because if you get praise for it at the front end you've not achieved anything but you're getting that affirmation you're getting that support you're getting that positive feedback and then there's no real reason there's no you know it's one less motivation to stay in recovery to stay focused on what you're doing achieve something get a few days get a few weeks get a few months under your belt first before you start talking about how much money you've saved what you know what you've managed to actually achieve in the time you've saved when you've not been gambling don't tell people about the time you're going to save what you're going to do with the time you save and the money you're going to save when you do quit gambling when you haven't actually done anything and the first thing you should do get those active blocks in place get those you know 
ban you know the self exclusions in place get the bans in place with your credit cards and more and more banks are doing that now um halifax i know have just added um a gambling block feature to their debit cards that's brilliant um so do all those things up front talk about your addiction and then once you've started to achieve recovery once you've started to get something positive out of your recovery then is the time to talk about the great things shout about them from the rooftops at that stage but don't create a false positive up front because you'll find that people don't care people don't care that you're going to give up smoking people don't care that you're going to give up drinking yes if you stick it on Facebook, then there will be the same old crowd who go around, yeah, yeah, well done, you know, brilliant. Don't don't get rid of those people. Don't get rid of them out of your life, but don't allow those people to falsely praise you because you haven't done anything yet. I'm right behind every single one of you watching these videos who wants to make a successful recovery, who wants to abstain from gambling, who wants to improve their life through abstinence and through recovery. I'm right behind you. But if you just send me a message saying, Phil, I need to quit gambling. I'm going to quit gambling. I quit gambling as of today. I will send you a message back to say, good luck, best wishes in your recovery. But if you send me a message saying, Phil, you know, I've watched your videos and, uh, you know, I'm now three weeks without gambling. I used to gamble every day. Then, yes, that's an achievement. Of course, you need to keep it up. But that is a great achievement. Saying you will do something without doing anything is not an achievement. And certainly... You know, seeking solace, seeking affirmation in doing something badly, I refer back to the frozen chicken nugget mother on Facebook, is uh, certainly nothing to be proud of. And we shouldn't support each other. We shouldn't be praising each other online, in person, for something we say we might do, for something we say we're going to do, for something we say we should do. That doesn't deserve praise. What deserves praise is taking action, getting off your ass and doing something about it. That deserves praise, that deserves support, that deserves encouragement. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. All the best.